Listen, Chavra, I want to share with you, I want to share with you a beautiful, beautiful Yisoyed. You ready? Beautiful Yisoyed. Here's the Yisoyed I want to share with you. Tonight, tonight's the yard side of Reb Shai, Reb Moshe. Tonight's the Heleki yard side of Reb Shai, Reb Moshe. Reb Shai, Reb Moshe was nifted in 1925, that's 95 years ago, Baruch. He was very well known for his chesed, for his kindness. He was very well known to do chesed for the world. He did for Yidin and Goyim alike, believe it or not. Special shout out to Yaakov Rikan. Thank you for joining. So uh, he, he, was, he, he did chesed and he was mischased. He, he, he did kindness to people. And uh, I want to talk about the chesed in a moment. But many people have been asking me this question. And maybe Rabbi Nukam, when Rabbi Joey joins us in a couple of minutes, maybe Rabbi Joey will answer this question better. But we know that this Rabbi Nachman writes in his Sefer, 250 years ago, Rabbi Nachman wrote a letter and he said that his Torahs, that you won't be able to see Rabbi Nachman's Torahs. He says, my Torah will be, will be pushed forward in the world in about 250 years. This Inyanim by Tzadikim, there's a Yana by Tzadikim, that Tzadikim, their Neshamas on the Scala years later. We see that by, we see that by, by uh, the, we see it by the Gavaldika Rebbe, the Noyam Eli Melech. Some people like to poke fun. Some people like to say, oh, all of a sudden, these Tzadikim became famous. Somebody earmarked the Kevin. It's not like that. It's not like the Chas V'chalil, Rabbi Yisai. Should never make fun of these inyanim, very deep inyanim. There's a voider from his scala son of Shama, state in Kabbalah, that there's inyanim of the neshama being the scala, the neshama being revealed. Hi, please answer. Um, the, the, the neshama is being revealed means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu allows the neshama to come down from Shemayim to this world. HaKadosh Baruch Hu allows the neshama to come down from Shemayim to this world. Fire. So it means that Reb Shaila's neshama has opportunity and schus, whatever that means, to be nizgala now. There's a maisa, there's a story with the Heleke, the Heleke Reb Chaim Tzanza. When Reb Chaim Tzanza, they say he was a Baruch HaKodesh, the Holy Reb Chaim Tzanza. And Reb Chaim Tzanza said, Reb Chaim Tzanza made a deal with his friend, another tzaddik, and he said, whoever's nifta first will come down from Shemayim and tell them what's going on. But the first... Sadiq said, okay, it's a deal, but whoever dies first, the other one has to say one Kaddish for him. So the other Sadiq was Nifta first, the second Sadiq, and Rabbi Chaim Tzanza said a Kaddish, and it took months and months and months for this friend to come down from Shemayim. And he came down and he told him what's going on in Shemayim. And then he said, he said, what took you so long? What took you so long? So he said, because when you said Kaddish, you sent me Mamish B'Shmei Mala to the highest levels till I got Rishus to come down. We don't know what it means. We don't understand Dailam Anashamas. We have no clue what Dailam Anashamas are. It's, right? We don't understand these things. Maybe the Rebbe, Rabbi Nukam, will explain to us soon these in Yonim for Dailam Anashamas. But we don't understand what it means, Dailam Anashamas. But one thing we do understand is that this is his scholars of Tzadikim. Tzadikim could reveal themselves. So I want to share with you a very short thought on Chesed. I want to share with you a very short thought on Chesed. And then I'm going to hand over the, the camera to Rabbi Nukam, who's, on, who's in a different location. He's in a different place. I'm outdoors. He's indoors. So you notice I'm sitting outdoors to feel a little bit the coldness of Poland. L'chaim, 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 sure, beautiful picture. And I want to share with you about the Indian of Chesed for a moment. Indian of Chesed. Yaakov Rikan didn't hear me. Welcome him before. Welcome Yaakov Rikan. Listen to an Indian of Chesed. Shalom Stanavad is welcome. Listen to an Indian of Chesed. Chesed is Azoy. I'm not sure welcome every year. But if I go through all the 70 names now, then we'll sign off if I go through the names. I want to welcome Mikey Morris and Nachamov and all the years. Shmuel Grossberg. But we can't, we can't sit and go through all the names now. Shua Sinavada. Listen like this. Listen like this. Okay? 
Chesed. The world was created with Chesed. Oilam Chesed Yibana. Follow the deep, follow the deep, deep, deep you say. Jack Earth, follow the deep you say. The deep you say like this. Chesed Oilam Chesed Yibana. The world was created with Chesed, with kindness. That means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world built on Chesed. There's a foundation of a building and then there's a building on top. Chazal teaches us that the foundation of the building is Chesed. Avram Avinu, who's the Midas HaChesed, Avram Avinu represents Chesed, was Zoycha to have that Midas that he found HaKadosh Baruch Hu through Chesed, whatever that means, it's not for now. But the bottom line is, is that Olam Chesed, Yibana, the world was founded on Chesed. Follow my train of thought. That means the whole world, everything that's built on this world, the foundation of it is Chesed. There's Din, there's Rachamim, there's Emes, there's Amuna, there's all these Midas. But the foundation of the world is chesed. So follow me, beautiful Dover Rat. Now follow me like this. It's, we say, oh, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mogen, Avraham, blessed are you Hashem, the shield of Avraham. We end in, in the Posse. Right? I'm sorry, we end the Baruch and Shemana Esri, Mogen, Avraham. Why are we ending Mogen, Avraham? Frak the Gemara, why don't we end Mogen, Yitzchok, or Yaakov? The Gemara says, Tamad Laim HaBachach HaIsman, we end with you. That's what the Gemara says. Straight by Halek at Tzadikim, Rabbi Nukim says that Tzadikim say this. The holy tzaddikim say, the holy tzaddikim say, that la'asid love when Mashiach is going to come, the b'chach the final, the finale, the finish off of the world, the finish off of the world is going to be with chesed. When Mashiach is going to come, Mashiach is going to enter into this world and he's going to come in with our midas chesed. B'chach we end with you, we're going to end with our void of chesed. So my dear friends, if I'm going to sit here and tell all of you, the, the, the 77 families that are on this thing, the 78 families that are on this group right now, I want to say to you, Rabbi said, become Reb Kevega and learn Shaz and understand Reb Kevega. It's a little hard. I'm going to tell you, go ahead now and become Reb Shach. Become Lahav the Mechaim, Lahav the Mechaim, Lahav It's very hard. But I can tell you, you could be a Baal Chesed like Reb Shaya. I could tell you that Reb Shaya tapped in the 1920, in 1900. Shail tapped in that the, the, the Asidus, Mashiach is on his way. The Mashiach is Mamish coming. And the way we're going to bring Mashiach is the Avayda of Chesed. Shaila was a guy and he knew how to learn. He knew how to teach. He had, his Nisham was Nishma Salikim Chayim. He was about Moifis. The Moifis in the Seba of Shaila is not regular. But his, he, he, his outstanding Midah that we knew is the Midah of Chesed because he understood that that's Bacha Chayisma. My humble understanding is that he understood that the Asidus, what, what's going to bring Mashiach, Rabbi Isai, is the Midas HaChesed. I could sit and tell you the beautiful stories of Rabbi Shaila, and we could go over and over this gorgeous story. So many beautiful, there's a whole book on it. A whole beautiful book on Rabbi Shaila. And we could sit and we could go through the Avodas. But the main overall thing that we have to absorb right now is that we could become Baal HaChesed. You could become a Rabbi Shaila in the Avodas HaChesed. How? By thinking about the next year. You want to do something, you want to do something great in the world, think about the avoid of chesed, think about how we can make the next guy's day better, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your child, whether it's your parent, whether it's your friend, whether it's your father, whether it's your worker, whether it's your boss, someone's life you can make different. That's the avoid of chesed. That's Shaila's avoid. Shaila taught us that we're gonna, we could go ahead and we could be more this Indian of chesed. On Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to end with this, and then I'm going to turn over the microphone to Rabbi Nukam. I just want you to know, by the way, a big secret about Rabbi Nukam before I end off with my Vardar Rosh Hashanah. Big secret, Rabbi Nukam holds a guitar in front of him. The guitar covers his lave, his heart, because his guns in Neshama, he's trying, to hold, he's trying to hide away from the Neshama of being a Talmud Chacham. Rabbi, Rabbi Nukam is a tremendous Talmud Chacham. The guitar he is, is one of the avoiders, many avoiders, but Etzim is a tremendous time of Chacham. He's a Rebbe, he's a Rebbe, he's a Chashav, he's much more Chashav than me. And really, his Torahs are Gavaldic. When I have Shilas, I ask him, he doesn't like to say it, he laughs when I say it. He's going to come on laughing, be like, the Rebbe is being nice to me. We should just know his avoider, his tremendous avoiders in Kirav Halavavis, of not just music, but in the Shema. But I want to end off with this Yisoyed. With this Yisoyed. Yisoyed is, is that on Rosh Hashanah, on the Holy Rosh Hashanah, we, we, it says in the Pasuk in Nehemiah that l'chu, if, after they daven and they daven to Hashem for their life, and Rosh Hashanah, we beg Hashem for our life, and it says, l'chu ichlu mashmanam b'shusum, I'm talking, go eat and drink, b'shochu mono yisleinach, and go send presents to those that are not worthy. Chesed, what's chesed going on in Rosh Hashanah? Go send food to those people that need. 
What do you mean? I just finished my dad Rosh Hashanah. I should go dance that Hashem saved me on Rosh Hashanah. The answer is, is because on Rosh Hashanah, when we're starting our new year and Hashem is writing us in for life, Hashem says, you know how you're written in for life? Through chesed, through avoidus of chesed. And that's the avoidus tonight, Rabbi Yisrael, and that's the avoidus for asidus. I believe this whole social distancing and Quran and all that is showing the world how much chesed there is. It's not even to be believed how much chesed is going on in the world now. Our God, the is so proud of us, Rabbi Yisrael. The Abish is so proud of us. I love you all. You gavald with the Eden. Keep up your chizuk. Keep it up. Keep being closer to the Rabbi Yisrael. Do the avoidus of chesed. I'm going to unmute Rabbi Nukom and I'm going to highlight him. And we thank Rabbi Nukom for joining us tonight on the last minute. Thank you all and I love you. Mom is the holy Rebbe. The Rebbe loves to make up stories about me. <laughs> I'm asking Rebbe. One sec, I'm trying to get the right position here. I already warned the Oilam that you're gonna deny what I said, so they know that it's they know that already that. that <laughs> so first, I think Lamaisa, we wrote a niggin on the plane on the way to on the way to Poland and Hungary. On the way, we were thinking about how we we're gonna be by the Heilige Tzadikim, by Reb Shaya and Rabbi Melech and all the Tzadikim, schools of Yogi and Oleinu, and we wrote this niggin to Zaman. I believe that the Rebbe was involved in the writing of the niggin. Because the Rebbe was, came over on the plane. Obviously, when the seatbelt light was off, the Rebbe came over and fabrang. So we're going to sing this nigga. Cover the tzaddikim. And Ibish it says, you know, the Gemara says that Chazal said that you know, Yaakov Avinu Loy Meis, Yaakov Avinu never died. What does that mean, never died? He's buried in the Marzah Machpelah. What does that mean, never died? So the Tzadikim said, Rabbi Yonis and Ibish said, the whole Mimer, he says, you know what it means to die? Obviously, nobody nobody just ends to exist because your Neshama lives on, it goes to Shemayim. So what it means to die is that you are no longer involved in this world. You no longer have any connection to this world, which is Oilam Hazer. That means you're dead. You left. Obviously, in the Shem Lozan and Shemayim, but Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. What does that mean? Zach, to be honest, and I have a shit. Yaakov Avinu has a shot. To get involved in this world, even after he's not alive anymore. To be honest, and I have a shit says that the Yaakov Avinu is the Tzadik Yisoyim Yikim. He's the Tzadik. He has Rishos to intervene on our behalf, to come down and to assist sometimes. You know, Eliyahu and Navi, there's many tzaddikim that have the opportunity and the, and the, and the Rishos to be involved in the world. Mamash, 
So that's what it means. Yaakov Avinu Loimeis. Yaakov Avinu didn't die because he's still, as well, even though his group is not here, he's still involved in Olam Haza. So the Mele was a Nifter. As I said, we're going to deny Bashir. That there are certain Sadiqim that were poiled so much, that they care so much that they ever should to be involved even after they die. And certain Sadiqim, you could see that Mamish, after they left the world, they're still, they're still so much involved in the world, Kaviyahu. Whether it's Rabshaya, the people saw Yeshua when they went to his Kvarim, when they davened by the cave of Rabshaya and Ramosha. They davened for things, we, you know, I'm bringing a raya from, from a song, but the words, Poyal Fakla Yisrael, Bane Chaim, Zainer Avicha, means that the Tzadik, Rabshaya, Gave so much to Klai Yisrael as a shus to keep on getting involved, to intervene on our behalf, to be poil Yeshua's kaviyah, just like Yaakov Avinu you know, Loi Meis. Many tzaddikim, maybe all the tzaddikim, maybe Yaakov Avinu you know, represents all the tzaddikim that Loi Meis, the Indian of Loi Meis is, is that they're still getting involved, they intervene. And Abshaya could look down and say, hey, Hashem, please save Faisal. They're davening by my cave and they have to listen to the Meili's involved in this world to his boy Mace. On the yard side of a tzaddik, obviously it's a big ace rods and Gaval. Depending on what school of thought you come from, some people fasted, you know, the Litvax, the Litvish island. So I'll tell you, you have to fast. You have to be uh, fasting on the, the yard side of a tzaddik. I'm like, boy, we have to fast. But in Primius, Primius, it's a big day of, of, of Simcha. Whatever happens in Shemayim with the Neshamas or Oilet, the different Eilamas on the yard side. It's a big Indian of Simcha because it's Shtekobet, Mab Shabbat. Especially like Boimer, which is, which is the Iskalas of Primius Atari, the Iskalas of Rav Shimon, the Iskalas of, of the world of, of, of Tikkun, before you might say Mashiach, Tikkun Ezair, Tikkunim. The world of Yehurei Tshuva, the world of getting ready for Mashiach. So Holy Baal Shem Tov and many tzaddikim and chassidus were continued that, that trend. But if Shaila, like the Rebbe said, he loved Yidin so much, Baal Chassim Mamish. Like the Rebbe said, it was such a deep tide, I never thought about this, but I'm happy I heard it tonight. That the Indian of Bechav Chaisman, that Avram Avinu, the, by Yemais the Mashiach, by Yemais the Mashiach, we end the Gullus with the Indian of Chesed. In fact, it's brought down Mashiach Tzadikim that if you want to be saved from Kevle Mashiach, from the pains of pre Mashiach times, do Chesed, you'll be saved from the pains. Zayzak. Could be that's the Indian of Bechav Chaisman, that why the Neshamas of Neshamas of, 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 of Shail is the Skala so much that the Olam is running through Shaya because. It's the Indian of Bacha Chosman. Chesed is being the skull in the world. So we sing. Sim Chalkeinu Imohem. Sim Chalkeinu Imohem. And we say thank you, Hashem. You gave us such, such tzaddikim that hold up the world that could intervene on our behalf, that could help us. And on the yard site, especially when the Chitanya is a level, we remember the tzaddik. And we remember what he did in Kaviyafal, he gives Kayach for Pali Yeshua's mom.
It's such an Indian to just say the names of Tzadikim. You know, Repichas bin Yar. You know, Chananim Mishal Vazari, Mamish. Shimon Bar Yechai. So, you know, sometimes, I mean, there's even a nigga in Rabbi Yosef Karduner from the Holy of Composers. He's Mamish Gaval. So he has a whole nigga, Yosef Karduner. He has a whole song, if you ever heard all of his albums, where the entire song is just names of Tzadikim. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai. Da 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 da, la la da 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 la. Rabbi Cruz Bedai. He just goes to Sadiqim one after another, one all the way until the latest Achrayim and the Sadiqim. There's an Indian when you just talk about the Sadiqim, when you mention their name, it's Ma'il and Achman because of what they they're Matak on the Velt. They brought they're Matak on the world. So when you just mention the Sadiq's name, it's already Ma'il and Achman. Even before, even before you you hear Brother Mikey over there, you hear on time. Even before you uh, before you. Get into the Torah. Avada, when you learn the Torah of the Tzaddik, it's big. It's big. But in Breslov, even just say the name of the Tzaddik. Just to say the name of the Tzaddik is Ma'ira things. You could be Matak and Zach and Zmam and Shigaval. So we talk, we talk, you wonder, you see how Reb Shaib and Ramosha, you see people walk around, Shaib and Ramosha. And sometimes you see people think it's a joke. And maybe, unfortunately, sometimes people mean it as a joke. Oh, Yankee. But the Avoid is Mamish. Yellow. How can I help you? It's should be busy on having you on right now. What's going on? Oh, there's a whole there's a whole matzim going on in Avenue I. I just heard talking. So my say, but one of the things of Shaila and Ramosha. One of the things that the Chassidim, that the Baal Shem Tov brought, that the Talmidei Baal Shem was continuing the Olam HaTikun, the, the, continuing the path to Mashiach, continuing paving the way of, of the Indian of, of Tshuva, the Olam of Tshuva, which is the Olam of Bina, which comes from Rav Shimon, to fix it, to do Tshuva, to come back. One of the greatest things of Nachman and Shem Yish, all over Chassidus, realizing how Gavalu you are, just automatically brings a person to truth. Because the truth is, is that if you only knew how Gavalu you were, it would put you in a better place. There's an Indian called success breeds success. Success breeds success. Once you, you know, even in school, it is mice is about a fry belt, where a guy thought that he was horrible in learning, and he had him remember one pasuk by heart, and after that, the guy was learning the sugar. Because that little piece of success that he finally felt Givaldic generated the rest of his success. So even in psychology, the Indian of success breeds success. But forget psychology. In Torah, one of the biggest fights of the Yitzhahara, Zakhdut Sadiqim, the Sfasemes, in a letter that he wrote to his friend, one of the main things he wants to do is get rid of the Simcha. Why? Because if somebody has Simcha, if he's content, if he feels amazing, he'll get through anything. He'll even get through a failure. He'll even get through a downtime. Even if he, if, let's say he hates his job and he gets burnt out every day. Lamaisa Ba'etzim, he's a Simcha Dicker person. He's content, he's Basimcha, he's, he's a Gavaldiga person, then he'll get through burnouts. 
the moment the simcha is gone, that's when you can't handle situations. And that's when you start to make bad decisions. So the Yetzirah says, the first thing I got to do is get rid of simcha, otherwise I can't beat this guy. So the biggest goal of the Yetzirah is to put a person down and to make them feel not good. So the whole avoid, if you look all over in the Chazib Shesmar, the avoid of simcha, the avoid of tshuva, of gavalik, you're amazing, you're amazing, because once you know that, you'll talk to, you'll come to tshuva. So we have to sing in honor of the, the Prat, in honor of the Tzadikim. All the Tzadikim schools again later, but Prat, Reb Shaib, and Reb Moshe, to be Zoich and the schools of the Tzadik, Reb Shaib, and Reb Moshe, to have the Yeshua with Bishara. We should see Mashiach Tzidkeinu. We should take the lessons of the Tzadikim. They never gave, they, they told Yidin to never give up the Tzadikim. They told Yidin to never give up. People ran to the Tzadikim and they said, never give up. So they have to sing to them. You fall down, you get back up. 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 You fall The tzaddikim that they live on, they intervene in this world. They live on avada. They live on because if they don't, what would we do without them, Amish? But like we said, that Rav Yonis and Ibishit says that the nisham of the tzaddik, especially specific tzaddikim. The Nisham of the Tzaddik has Rishos to intervene in our behalf. The Nisham of the Tzaddik has Rishos to get involved in this world. He could say, Ebishter, please do like this. So Mamela, Loi Mace, they never die because death is from this world. A Nishama always lives on, Mamish. So what it means to die is that you're, you're no longer in this world. You're no longer involved in this world. But the Tzaddik, who has Rishos to keep on getting involved in this world, even though his guf is not here, Lamai says, Loi Mace. Never died because it could still be Poyal Zakim holding up the world, Mamish. And Rav Shaib and Ramosha, who we learned so much from. Who we Mamish, we learned so much. We learned so much Toyota, we learned so much Chesed. We learned so much from Rav Shaib and Ramosha, and we live on in, in, in what he did. Should be a Schus Taka that the Tzadik should be a Melis Yosha and Shemaya. And he should speak on our behalf and say, Look, I did so much Chesed. I took care of so much Yidin. I loved people so much. Let's keep on taking care of the Yidin. Let's take care of their needs. Let's get rid of the Tzadis. People poured out their hearts at Abshai and Ramosha. Let the same happen, Mamish. The Abisha takes care of us. You know, when one of the mice I heard from Rav Weinberger, and one of the, 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 the little mice that went around is that, you know, uh, Rav Shai was a Gabai. He was a Shamas by the Liskaru. Before he became a tzaddik in his own right. And his job was to hand out the biltalach. Mamish Gaval. I don't know if that ever said this, but if I'm repeating it, then it's chazure. But his job was to hand out biltalach 
by the tish of the Liskaruf. And every single week he would do his job, he'd hand out Bukalach. If I heard the Maisa right, there was this one week where the rabbi kept on telling the Chassidim, look at Rup Shaila, look what he's doing. Look at Sh they called him Shaila, you know, they didn't know who he was. They called him Shaila, he said, look at Shaila, look what he's doing. So everyone said, what do you mean? They looked at Shaila, he's handing out Bukalach, like he always does. The Shamas are doing a job. No, 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 look at Shiloh, look at Shiloh. Look at Shiloh, Mamish. And they looked at Shiloh, and they didn't understand what the Rebbe wanted. So the Rebbe said, look in the bag, look in the bag. And they looked in the bag, and there was nothing in the bag. There was no Bilkalach in the bag. And he was handing out Bilkalach. And the Rebbe said, the Rebbe said that Rabbi Shiloh is teaching us such a big yisoy in Yishka. You know why? Because you know how many times you're going to come to a point in life where you feel like your bag is empty? You know how many times you're going to come to a matzah, to a situation in your life where your gas tank is empty, there's no more bilkulach. Here I am, I'm supposed to be a top down, I'm supposed to be a mother, I'm supposed to, you know, be happy and support my children and create a nice environment, and, and I'm to brachim. Here I am, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. So many times in life you're going to mamish come to a point where you're like, I have nothing left, there's no more kaya. You fight certain Yetzirahs and you're fighting your whole life. You tell the Amish, what do you want from me? There's one Yetzirah. I can't get rid of this one Yetzirah. I have no more Kaya. Comes along Rip Shiloh and he pulls Belkalach out of an empty bag. And he tells a Yid, he says, trust me, a Yid could pull out the biggest things from an empty bag. You could be totally out of Kaya. You could be totally done and finished. And you're pulling out Belkalach, Mamish. Somehow you pull through. Look, we came out of the Holocaust. We were zeichet to be in, in, in uh, on the trip. We were zeichet to go visit the concentration camps in Auschwitz. And we walked out with such chizik. And I remember thinking to myself, only a yid could walk out with chizik from that place. Most people probably go there. They come out, there's no Abishnah. Only a yid walks out with chizik. Because we know how to pull bilkalach out of empty bags. All the Yidin and the beautiful Holocaust survivors and the sweetest Jews in the world that walked out. And they put it on Tefillin. They pulled that Bilkalach from an empty bag. So the Tzaddik and all the Tzaddik and Reb Shaila, who took care of so many broken people, he taught us, ancient years, Ba'ilam Mamish, you can pull out Bilkalach from an empty bag. Wherever you are, Mamish, you think the situation is like this, trust me. The situation is not like this. Trust me, situation is not like this. A guy once told me that when, you, when you're talking to a Chesidish guy and he says, trust me, you should be careful. The <laughs> Maish today was on helping. He was on helping and the schutz of the Tzadik, Rav Shaib and Rav Moshe, just to say his name, just to say his name, just to be able to say the name Rav Shaib and Rav Moshe, it could be Mas Oyer Yid Mamish. Just to hear the name when you get up by a Kiddush and like the Kiddush is sponsored. Boom, right away. I just heard his name. I just heard his name. I want to be better. I want to be better. In the Schuss of the Tzadik, we should be Zachar the Tshuva, in the Oilam HaTshuva, in the Oilam HaTikram. And we should have a Gaval HaChana for the Yandam of Lag Ba'imra, which is Mamish Gaval, which is a pathway to Mashiach. We should be Zachar to see the Yeshua Bekarev. We should be Zachar to Fabreng with all the Tzadik and by Tchis Ames and Oilam Haba Mamish. Be able to see things. Imagine what it means to bring a carbon to Val. Imagine me and Brother Mikey walking with a sheep over there to the base of Mikdash. <laughs> you know, how why a sheep? You know, it means to bring a carbon. The schuss of the tzaddik, we should all see the Yeshua. The Abish is to send the Rafur Shalema to the world. Because the I, I I won't say which one, but a certain magazine called me today and asked me. If I, and they wanted to put a write up for Lag Boimer, so they said, Do you have any stories about Lag Boimer? Like, so I assumed that they wanted to hear, like, I had like a miracle story. I went to the Pshimmons and I made a million dollars. <laughs> but I don't have any mice. But I told them, I was like, I want to be honest with you. I want to be the guy who has the mice that just, there's no mice. I want to be the guy that just believes in, in, in the Tzad, that believes in the Indian. The guy who showed up to Rab Shimon's fire and danced. And Davin by the caver and 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 connected to what Rib Shimon brought to the world. That's my mice finished. That's my whole mice. I don't need a miracle to prove to me that there's Kayach and Rib Shimon. My Misa is is that I believe in the Kayach of Rib Shimon without having a miracle mice. So I told him, I was like, that's my mice. My mice is that I have no mice and I'm still connected. 
You must come over there, brother Mike. There is on health from that we should be zeichen the schus of the tzaddik to see Yeshua's bekarev and to dance and to fabreng once again. You know how hard it is not to hug Eden. You know how hard it is just not to be able to give a, a hug to another Yid. I thought the Yitzhah Hara was bad. It's very hard to not give a hug to another Yid. What? Which Rup Shem? Oh, we have a special request from my brother Arya over there. Why over there? Chaim, we're going to sing the song about Rup Shimon because Ba'etzim is the whole Indian. It goes like this. Maybe it's a shtickle hachlana for Lag Bo'ema this year. The magazine, they asked me, I told them like this, I said, maybe most of the times you get distracted. You ask somebody, what's Lag Bo'ema? I don't know. I take my kids to the, to the local community fire and we dance around and we shoot bow and arrows. We shoot bow and arrows. But, but nobody really hops. But this year, maybe for the first time, when a guy's sitting in his living room and it's Lag Bo'ema, he's like, oh, it's Lag Bo'ema. What is it? Maybe for the first time he's going to focus and say, well, what's, what's Lag Bo'ema? What's the special? Usually we're distracted by all the Inyanim. Obviously the Kedusha, the Kenyanim, they're connected to the Inyan. But maybe sometimes people get so distracted, you know, sometimes even on Pesach, people get so distracted by cleaning up, which is Gavaldic, and by, by have to eat two kazesim of matzah and one shot and all these zakim that you sort of like sometimes forget, like, what am I supposed to be doing on Pesach? What's the avoid here? So with Lag Ba'im, it's an avoid on Lag Ba'im. There's an avoid. Bari Yechai B'Kodesh HaKadoshim. There's an avoid that sometimes it's distracting because he's busy with the party. I have to make sure it runs like this. The fire is not big enough. The music, the this, dancing around him. Maybe this year we'll all sit in our own houses and say, what's Lag Ba'im? We'll sit in the cave, Mamish, in the cave with Reb Shimon and try to figure out what is Lag Ba'im? And try to understand deeply. You must come, uh, Brother Arya over there. Maskim. L'chaim, l'chaim, the island should be zaycha to refuas and yeshuas and parnasa. And, and we should be zaycha to give a yid a hug again. We should be zaycha once again to give another yid a hug. Can you imagine it's a schus to give a yid a hug? L'chaim, in the schus of the yard side of the Holy Tzaddik, of Shaim and Ramayisha, they should, should send yeshuas. Bane, chaim, azayin, revichay. Ali, get the zachin. V'noimad, umayim. Shkoyak, Rabbi Grona, shkoyak.
Thank you, Yidin. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Shkoyach. It should be a schus for the Heilig Tzadik. It should be zoicher to bring chesed to the world. Thank you, Rabbi Nukam, for your gewaldik avoidus. Oh, Rabbi Nukam, what a deep yid, what a Heilig yid. We should be zoicher to bring chesed and to bring the gul asida, mog and avram. Remember what I said when we started off, b'chach hoismen, that the gul asida is going to come with chesed. And I want you to know the next time Rabbi Nukam comes on, whether he's surprised or he's there, you have to understand that the Rebbe is from the biggest, biggest Yidin of today's door. You can bring Yidin closer to the Rebbe so it should be Zeichel to I love you all. Agotenacht. Everything you do should be a schus, Rabbi Shai, Rabbi Moshe. Thank you so much. Have an amazing, amazing night.